Hello and welcome everyone, this is Blackadder at Blackadder's Place and today, as you could have gleaned from the title of this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to actually play the original Age of Empires 1 and Rise of Rome of course in HD on modern computers because it is most definitely possible and it is thanks to a very nice community creation called Upatch. It's basically something similar as you know from Age of Empires to the Conqueror's user patch which is also quite a huge and a big help to the community, but yeah, well, Age of Empires 1 has basically the same thing and I'm gonna be showing you what it does, how to actually get it, how to install it and how the game actually runs with it. So, enjoy! I decided to actually start the guide with installing the game itself because as it's kind of usual, there are a lot of myths in the communities and whatnot that it's actually not possible to even start the CDs and get the game going on the modern machines, which is most definitely not true. And I'm gonna be using for this actually video the gold version. Unfortunately, I cannot really right now locate my original discs. I do have the original one and the data disc, but unfortunately they have been lent out and not returned yet, so yeah. That's still under investigation how to actually make that happen, because those are most definitely relics right now. But to go back to actually our guide here, I'm just gonna be showing you how to install the game. No, well, it's not really that difficult, but then how to get the U patch. So, CD in. We should be getting our message, our auto run message fairly soonish in here. So let's wait for that as it actually gets loaded. Yep, select what happens with the disk, that is gonna be an auto run, yeah, which is gonna be normal installing of course. In English, please. And yeah, we have two here, but we are of course interested in the first Age of Empires. Of course, install Age of Empires, ah, need to hit the button of course. Continue, yes, we are of course gonna be having Eola. That's something that everybody should read, but yeah, for the purpose of this video, let's go. <laughs> That's actually a nice animation in there. <laughs> of course, agree. And we're gonna be installing the game into, yeah, why not the standard? Why not the standard? I'm usually installing it somewhere else, but just to make it simple for the guide, let's continue with the standard installation in here. Yep, let's start with that. Typical full, let's go with full, yeah, it's not like we are having problems with space, it's still needed. <laughs> just 200 megabytes. Where are the games that actually need just this amount of space? And yeah, let's wait for the installation. So far you can see that this gold version that I'm installing from is working just absolutely fine on Windows 10. There's absolutely no problem whatsoever in here. Almost there, so you have in Scout at the bottom. At the top that's Cataphract, I think. Yeah, it should be Cataphract. Moving across the screen, of course, and updating system files, detecting whatever the game actually needs. And yep, online reg registration, not really at this point. I don't even think that actually would be doing anything. And this time we, of course, need to also update into Rise of Rome, because why not, of course? So we should be having it still there, right? Oh, actually not. So let's just do it through the browser. Yep, same stuff with the Eula for the purpose of, of course, this video, and it's gonna be full one. The whole 44 megabytes, isn't that awesome? <laughs> As the villages are of course gonna be building. Why are they actually building here? I think they have buildings are kind of wonder. Ah, Victory Gate maybe. For, for the Romans, yeah, I think so. It's gonna be Victory Gate. Or Victory Arch, it's maybe called. Do you want to add desktop? Well, I guess why not? Now, why not? And we might just as well start if it's gonna be playing for us. I think that it could be. It needs direct play. Alright, so we actually need to do the other thing that I was actually planning to show you as well, because it's definitely helpful for the older games, and especially Age of Empires and Age of Mythology. And that's what you need to do in well, the settings for the Windows 10. So you can see that right, now, right off the bat, it's actually showing us quite a nice short cut to actually do this. We need direct play to start the game. Yep, install this feature, it's gonna get installed. And well, you might need to restart, but let's see. Let's see if it's gonna be needed all that much or not. 
apparently not. Everything seems to be working just fine. So that's of course good news. This is just basically to show you that the game is working absolutely fine on modern machines without any kind of issues. Let's just right now start the game to confirm and yep, here we go. Everything is as we remember it, the good old times, even with the olden resolution of course, which is right about now 800 by 600, yes. And you can go up to 1024 by 768, which is I think added by Rise of Rome, but still you cannot really go over and well this is the max that is allowed by the original game. Still, it is just working absolutely fine if you enable direct play in the settings. So Windows 10 and Age of Empires 1, they definitely do agree with each other. And in case you actually didn't get the screen for some reason, which I think is not really probable, but if you needed to actually install direct play manually, I'm gonna be showing it to you just now. That's, you can go into start, into settings. Then in the settings, you go into apps. In apps, you're gonna be loading plenty of something stuff that you are actually having installed. That's gonna be on the right side. You need to click on programs and features. I'm gonna be showing you a whole list. And then on the left side, on the little side, you can see turn windows features on or off. You click on that, you get into a little list that is quite significantly hidden in here. And you need to find legacy components. You can see in here in the middle. Now it's now highlighted. And in them, when you basically click through, to show what is inside. That is the direct play. And that is needed for playing the original Age of Empires. It's also needed for Age of Mythology and for Age of Empires 2 as well. Not entirely certain if with the user patch, but I think, well, if you need it for the older games and you are playing them, of course, absolutely have it enabled because that is gonna be needed to allow you to play the games. So that's that. That is how to install actually direct play if you need it manually and the game doesn't prompt you for that. And right about now we're gonna be switching into the most important part of the game and of the tutorial of course. And the most important thing is of course gonna be installing the U-Patch and kinda also showing you a bit what kind of features it does offer for the original game. So let's just go to the browser and I'm already having the web page ready. But you can see right now the address upatch-hd.weebly.com. That's an address that I'm of course going to be supplying to you in the description of the video as well. So that you can basically just click through. And that's a very nice little web page that is including all the information about the upatch and what kind of extra features it has. You can see the list is pretty long and that's just basically right now some kind of extra things that the author wants to highlight on the home page you can see for example new random map types you can see save game crashes are fixed support ag resolutions this is exactly the most important why we are even here <laughs> interface graphics rework to an enhanced to hd quality as well and well the original cd audio track as well so plenty plenty of things even some support for nine languages you can see that you patch is actually in english german french spanish Portuguese, Italian, Polish, Russian, and Chinese. So definitely pretty great. And you can see that it's very popular. Even the beta got 23,000 downloads and I have already tested it plenty and it, it's working exactly as it should. So definitely great job by the author. But we're gonna be of course interested, for example, in the features in, her, in the whole list. You can see how long it actually is. Yeah, I'm not gonna be in all of that. <laughs> Stay calm, that's not gonna happen. That's just gonna be for up to you to potentially read through. Well, you probably should if you're interested in this. And well, that let's go for the download and get, of course, you patch. You can see right now the release number four, version 1.1, to allow us to play the original game in HD. So let's go. You can see the supported are Windows XP uh, Service Pack 3 up to basically Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 10. All of these are gonna be compatible with, of course, you patch HD. And this version is, of course, for the Rise of Rome. So you need to have the expansion. But as I said, I'm starting from the gold version. And if you have that, you have both. And to be honest, if you are having the original Age of Empires, you usually have Rise of Rome as well. So yeah, that there's that. So let's download. Let's make it kind of simple in here to show all of that. Oh, well, this is some kind of mirror. So we can basically just choose VR. I'm in Europe. So let's check. For example, this one, it seems like the one that I actually downloaded from before or, ah, well, there is a queue. Let's go for this one then, for example, and save. And we're going to be putting it, for example, on desktop so that it's simple for us. All right, so there we go. We're going to be having it on our screen. 
Yep, let's get you patch. Let's extract. Yeah, nobody pays for Winrar. Poor guys. <laughs> That's how it unfortunately goes for them. But at the same time, I definitely am glad that such a service exists and I'm quite happy that the developers took such open approach and they did a great job. Winrar is basically a staple, so let's just build a support for them since I'm using that for free. Okay, double click to actually install the patch. We are administrators and we do want to continue. And you can see here yeah, this is the version 4 exactly. And it's gonna be expanding Rise of Rome for our HD capabilities. Yep, standard Eura, Eula, Eurober. Sorry, everybody should be reading as well. I accept, and I definitely do have the legitimate copy of the game. And the language is gonna be English. And install. Goes fairly quick. At least for me, because I have SSD. <laughs> Might be slightly, ever so slightly slower for you, but really it's not gonna be anything brutal. And here we go. HD install successfully. To change resolution and other settings, use the new UPatch HD launcher. That's this one. It has been created right now on our desktop. And thank you most definitely. And if you feel like, you can definitely support the author through a small donation. Definitely something that you can do if you appreciate all that the author has done. So this is basically right now auto launching. Uh, this launch, I'm just going to be showing you that it is the same. Yes, it is. And here you go, of course, with mod manager and whatnot. So I'm going to be starting with the settings altering the game. And here you go. This is exactly what we're waiting for and what everybody is asking for. Of course, you can see up to 2560 by 1440. That's a pretty huge one. I'm personally having 1920 by 1200. Yeah, I'm not having the standard 16 to 9. I'm having a bit more on the Y axis, but you can see all of those extra basically up to what your monitor can handle and your graphics card and whatnot. So yeah, this is exactly what you are looking for. So I'm going to be picking it up on 1920 and 1200, exactly the resolution that I am having. And do we need enable window mode? It's useful, for example, for streaming, but I don't really need it right now. Player name advanced. Let's go for player name. You can set it up right now. Use this single player as well. It's gonna be black either. Advanced. Yep, disable new mouse control, unrestricted placement in scenario editor. You can see even some extra features are in here for scenario editor. That's how actually deep the U patch is. Game language, you can change it right now, even through what we have installed the game for. And file check, that's going to be just checking your files if they are not corrupt and whatnot. And help is going to be redirecting you to web, I'm thinking. Yes, it is. It's going to be just redirecting you back to the website. All right, so apply. You can see mod manager is also available in here. That's going to be allowing you to actually select, select mods one by one, because there is actually a folder for mods and you can just basically put everything in there and here you can see that I'm having absolutely nothing yet. So if you are having mods though, you can basically select what are going to be the starting mods for the game and what aren't. So this is definitely one nice improvement for the HD, for the HD version of Age of Empires 1 through the U patch as well. All right, so let's play. And here we go, Age of Empires 1 in HD. You can see that even the menus are looking a bit better. But of course the big difference is gonna be coming with the game itself. And there you go. Age of Empires 1 in full HD on a modern machine on Windows 10 without any kind of issues whatsoever. And that's all thanks to you, Patch. So thank you very much you patch. This is one hell of a community effort. And you can see that everything is working as it should, even the UI is quite nicely scaled. You probably cannot appreciate all that much the text because of the quality of the video, but rest assured, once you are actually gonna be starting it for yourselves, you're gonna be seeing there's no problem with legibility at all. And well, hopefully this is gonna be allowing you to enjoy the original Age of Empires experience for quite a lot of years to come. And if you're interested in some multiplayer fun as well with Age of Empires with the original, then there are several options to be actually had if you want to play against friends or just basically some kind of competitive against strangers even. And one of those options is actually booby.com. You can see it's having quite nice population for Age of Empires to the Conquerors, Age of Mythology and also the original Age of Empires and Rise of Rome. 
a few dozen people playing actually right about now. So if you are into that, give it a look and maybe you'll be hooked on some kind of original Age of Empires multiplayer fun. So I hope that actually this little guide is gonna be helping you exactly in that, enjoying Age of Empires 1 in HD. And well, I've been Blackadder at Blackadder's Place. Thank you for watching and see you later with more Age of Empires, of course.